All right. What? So I go into um, I go into Target, right, to buy you a gift that evidently you, you, you're a, <laughs> above. <laughs> I was going to get you a flannel right next to the bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> Target's so fucked up. It's like, what do you guys want to be? I don't like Target. They're like that person who just morphs themselves into what they, you, they think you want them to be so they can be friends with you. It's just like, pick a fucking angle. It's like you're walking. You know, you're looking at TVs and they're next to cereal. It's like, what the fuck? This is like, this is like a fucking yard sale, but everything's new. Um all right, so I go into Target, and I'm looking for your fucking shit. And every, you know what's funny about Target is everybody looks like they work there. So you got to ask like nine <laughs> fucking people, hey, do you work here? And they get all offended. Well, you look like you do. If Don't buy the clothes here, you asshole. If they're wearing a red shirt, they work at Target. Yeah, but there's different levels. It's like the military. There's different kinds of red shirts. There's the people with the Pete Carroll dockers. And then the red shirt tucked in. They're like management. Then there's the grumpy, filthy people who got to like fucking unload the trucks all day and they never let them go home. They're not going to answer shit. And then there's sort of dumpy women walking around like, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. It's like they took a pot cookie. And every once in a while, you meet that one that's on the ball who's not going to be there long. Score! Oh, I thought that was new. Sorry, that's a highlight. <laughs> that was a nice fucking wrap around goal. Oh, you got to love the wraparound. Oh, he saved it. He didn't save that fucking thing, did he? That's a goal. That's a goal. I have to reveal the fucking play stands. So I, as I'm leaving, I bought you a high-end gift there at Target, right? <laughs> I bought you a floral apron <laughs> with a frozen burrito in the pocket. And... Um, <laughs> I got to keep it in the freezer until right before. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Except for this bald, freckled fuck taking a frozen burrito out, sticking it in the stocking. By the way, underrated stockings. Stockings, I don't know about you guys. Like, I don't know. Some people are like, they start with the stockings. Other people, we always end on the stocking. And the stocking's always like the bum, 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 bam. Like, you already got your cool gift. Then you go over to the stocking, and it's like a, it's like a, you know, a gift certificate to a book club. <laughs> and you got to sit there acting like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I get to read. <laughs> awesome. What else is in here? Oh, new socks. I mean, I mean, who could use new socks? Are these gold toe? Oh, you shouldn't have. Literally. I'd, I would rather wear one stocking walking down the street than a pair of gold-toed socks just because of what they represent. There's a lot of blood and shame on all those gold-toed socks, you know? Do you know how many hookers have laid on motel rooms and the last thing that they saw <laughs> was somebody's bloody gold-toed sock walking towards them? <laughs> so bad. Oh so bad during the holiday season. Silver bells. <laughs> If you Leaving your food. family, going to get a hooker while the goose cools. <laughs> Double life, serial killer. Cops show up one day and you confess to 40 other killings. And your wife says, who the fuck are you? What did I do with the last three decades? And you stare at her with no feeling behind your eyes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I really got you going this one, man, Nene. You're, you're egging me on here. <laughs> I like your dark holiday carol. Because <laughs> I hate that song. I hate Silver Bells. It just goes on. For, it's like, it's this song on a fucking loop? There's no way this is one song. Huh? Did fucking Fish record this fucking thing? It's like 20 minutes long. Um, Silver Bells, and I hate Jingle Bell Rock. It's just such an attempt of, like, white people trying to be hip, you know? <laughs> We're going to jazz this one up. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Hey! Jingle bell. T <laughs> <laughs> it's that thing where you're kind of just shaking your head and your ass at the same time, you know, as you're snapping your fingers with your fucking loafers. That's when somebody, you know, if you're at a party and there's a piano and somebody knows how to play, they're going to sing that at the holidays. You know, do, do, oh yeah, do, do. and then there's gonna be the undersexed fucking twenty year old, twenty like years married chick with the red wine teeth. All will start dancing, and it's like, all right, all right, come on, let's get her out of here. Get her coat, get her coat. <laughs> Send her home. I just don't know why they stay together. Um, so I'm leaving Target, 
I'm leaving Target, and uh, this guy looks fucking confused. He's getting interviewed here, huh? Um, so I'm leaving Target, and as I'm walking out, all of a sudden I just hear this guy going, get off me, get off me! <laughs> and I look over, and there's two Target ladies. They're at the Pete Carroll level of the Target thing, and a, and a, and a Target guy, two women and a guy, are just fucking grabbing this dude and they're dragging him into like this windowless <laughs> office. And the guy's going, this isn't legal! This isn't legal! And they just dragging him in and everybody's just watching. Like, what the fuck? And then like, the door starts to close and then it opens again. And it fucking closes again. And then, and then, and then they finally got him to calm down and they closed the door and this older manager just closed the door and he did that. You know that smile you do when you walk by a stranger because you're hoping they don't have an ax? You know, that little purse lip where you kind of do the, you lift your eyebrows up. He kind of did that. Like, well, that's the end of that. And it's like, that's an American citizen in there, sir. What the fuck just happened? But nobody said anything because it's Target. You just don't expect it. So I said to the lady next to me, I go, did he steal something? And she goes, no, I don't think so. And then somebody else goes, I think he's autistic and he was acting a little weird. So they dragged him into yeah. The, well, I mean, the back room. Yeah, I don't think that that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But I why feel they call the like. Why would they take it upon themselves to drag him away? Why would they call the police? Or something? I know it looked like that Scientology show that you're watching. That the stuff that they do to people, except it was at Target. You huh. know, I wonder if one of those people is going to do a TV show exposing Target and what <laughs> what really goes on there. <laughs> They probably wanted him to work all three shifts on Christmas. <laughs> and he said no. <laughs> they just dragged him in there. They don't fuck around at Target. I guess not. Are you fucking kidding me? Did that guy just score from the other side of the... I'm just watching the highlights. It's pathetic. And that was it. And that was the end of... Uh, and then I just sort of walked out. Was, and I have to admit... 20 rolls of paper towels. <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas, Nia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting a lot of big tears next year. Big tears, big tears. 